Hey everyone, so um, I've been getting a lot of emails, a lot of messages on Facebook asking me how I extreme coupon, how I organize my binder, where do I get my coupons, and so on. So um, I don't consider myself an extreme couponer. I just cut coupons and save my family as much money as possible. You know, spending $150 um, a week every two weeks or however often you do is ridiculous in my opinion for groceries and it's hard to come by. So I started clipping coupons and what I do is I um, either get them from the papers or offline. So every Sunday I buy one Dallas paper and one to two Herald Democrat papers, uh, depending on the coupons that are in there um, and things like that. So if there are really great coupons in the paper, say there's, um, you know, a dollar, or I mean, two dollars off any Purex detergent, then I know that's a great coupon because every three months, roughly, um, Purex goes on sale for about a dollar ninety nine somewhere, either Kroger, Albertsons, Walgreens, CVS, somewhere. So that means that I could get detergent for free. So, what I do when I get home is I go online, and I'll post the website on a comment at the end of this video, but I go online um, to a clipping service, and what they do is they charge you for their time to find and clip the coupons. And you can order your coupons off there. Um, sometimes they have limits on how many you can order um, per week, um, but a lot of times, you know, there's no limit, and you can order as many as you want, and um, they're sent in about three to four days. So like this week, I ordered a dollar off any barbecue sauce. That I, it was a, a coupon that um, I know that I can get the item for free at Kroger this week. So they should be here this week, and I'll get barbecue sauce for free. So um, that's where I get mine from the paper and how I order them. Um, also, there's a website called coupons.com, and you can print off coupons um, from your PC at home. So I know they allow two printouts per computer, and we have five computers. So I can print out ten coupons at my house. I don't have to worry about going to get papers or things like that. Um, so that's one of the awesome things about the internet these days. Uh, also, Target has their own brand of coupons for their store. They have them online. If you go to the home page and scroll to the very bottom, it says coupons on a little tab and those are Target coupons. So they're good for their store and you can combine those with a manufacturer coupon which is really awesome. Um, another thing is Walgreens puts out their May uh, their coupon booklets and they put a new one out every month. This is their May coupon booklet. Um, it has a lot of coupons inside and you don't have to cut them out. You don't have to sort them in your binder and you can use them as many times as you want during the month of May. So this is really awesome. Um, this is also where the Huggies coupon is that I was talking about in the May booklet is $2 off any Huggies Little Swimmers. And I'm going to pair that up with my manufacturer coupon uh, for $2 off any Huggies Little Swimmers. And on sale on, uh, on Sunday they'll be on sale for $6.99 making them $2.99 each. That's just awesome to me. My son loves the water and we will definitely need a lot of these this summer. So um, another thing about Walgreens is, though, you have to have um, the same amount of items as you do coupons. So if I were to buy the Huggies on Sunday and I had two items but one uh, or two uh, coupons but one item, I'd have to get another item, and this is called a filler item. What I do is I usually buy a piece of candy, something really cheap because it's not going to add that much to my total. Um, they have little 39 cent candies by the door. So I usually add that to my purchase, making it two items and two coupons. And that way, um, you know, I don't have any mix-ups at the register. Walgreens also offers register rewards. And this is basically like a gift card to their store. Um, I know this past week they had Gillette Pro, uh, Pro Glide razors on sale for $9.89. And they were giving out $5 register rewards if you bought one. And then... Um, there was also a manufacturer coupon for $4 off any Gillette Pro Glide Razor, making them essentially $0.89 cents because you're getting that $5 register reward back. Um, good on anything in their store. So that's another thing. Um, but if you use the register reward next time you go to the store on your next transaction, um, it is considered a Walgreens coupon, so um, you'd have to have a filler item for that as well. Uh, another thing is... Um, 
coupon policies. You always want to keep those in your binder. So wherever wherever you shop, whatever stores you shop at, um, print out the coupon policies and put them in your binder. That way when you go to the store, if they say, well, we can't do this, um, pull out the policy and say, well, on your policy it states that you can, so can I speak to a manager, customer service, etc. That way you get your deal that you're looking for and you have the policy and the manager, you know, um, can explain to the employees the deals as well or the, uh, the policy as well. So um, that's where I find my coupons. I'll post the websites at the bottom of the video as well. Um, another question that I had asked was, how do I sort my coupons? I use the binder method, and this is my binder. I have a two-inch binder, and I think I'm going to have to upgrade soon. Um, but inside, I have a zipper pocket for my scissors, pencils, calculator, and you know, and then I also have an envelope for coupons in it that I'm going to use for that uh, trip to the store, or my next trip. Um, this is how I sort my coupons. I have baseball card holders. You can find these at Walmart or Target. I haven't checked Office Depot, but they might have them there. Um, and they're at Target. They're let's see, a 30 pack for five dollars. They're right by the cards, the baseball cards, sports cards, whatever, by the registers, and they're on the very bottom shelf. Excuse me. So what I do is I clip my coupons and I sort them in each slot. Now my binder has a lot of different categories. Um, the first category is cleaning, then we go to laundry detergents, dish soaps, um, health and beauty products, toothpaste, things like that. They're broken down into many categories, but um, also another good thing to get would be tabs. So that way you can write on the tabs what categories where, and you can just flip to it when you're in the store. Now, this is your new best friend. Take it everywhere you go. Um, you know, if I was running to Kroger to get a sale on fries, um, freezer fries, then what if I didn't take my binder and I found a sale on chicken nuggets and I know I had a coupon making them dirt cheap or free? I'm going to be really upset that I missed out on that great deal. And if I go back and they're not there, I'm going to be even more upset. So take your binder everywhere you go. I have a reusable Joann's tote that I put my binder in. And I just carry my binder and that in the store, and then I pull my binder out for coupons when I need to, um, you know, use it and stuff like that. So that's where I get my coupons. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me, and I'll let you know.